YouTube, Claire here with a coffee chat on, um, well, <laughs> basically the only topic that's on everywhere at the minute is um, the third lockdown, which, if I'm honest, isn't a big surprise. Um, I'm going to keep this video short today because, um, just because I don't think you need to hear any more about it than you already are, um, but I wanted to share what we will be doing in this third lockdown um and that's basically helping dogs to walk nicely on the lead together so this challenge was already planned um i wanted to do we've had such a good run of um progress in the challenge groups and and such like that i was running since last march uh, and we've covered all sorts we've done like um tiring tiring games uh, impulse control work um sh bits of shaping tricks garden barking we've literally just finished the 30 month at uh, 30 month <laughs> the 30 week barking dog challenge um and the gang have asked for loose lead walking so that's what we're going to be doing uh, and we start that on thursday in facebook so obviously if you want to come along go and find high peak dogs on the facebook page and you'll see the group uh, i think i've called it learning to love loose lead walking or learning loose lead walking damn it i should have got this up i'll tag the um group thing onto the end um and yeah i guess the only thing that's changed here for me is um that the elite in person um work will probably take a hit um whilst whilst we work in a distance setting it's looking like um, it would be, you know, I wouldn't be able to see multiple people on a day, even in a one-to-one -one format. So um, I'm waiting to hear a little bit more about what's said about that. So yeah, tier three, yeah, tier three, lockdown three. Need more coffee. <laughs> that should become my tagline, more coffee. Lockdown three is here. Can't say it was a surprise, to be honest. I um, I said to my sister over Christmas that probably January would be written off. Uh, the elite groups checking in now and, and chatting about it all. Um, I think there seems to be less worry about this one, less concern about this third lockdown. I think back in March there was like a hell of a lot of panic um, because it was so it was so new and we didn't know what was going on and like there was a massive change of adjustment to people's lifestyles. Um, and it got me thinking about like different behavior patterns and different like human emotions that present and stuff. And I guess that could be a really quick topic for today, actually, is that when you start reading behavior, um, obviously I read a lot of canine behavior, but behavior goes across the board into different species. So we present any, you know, any species presents behavior, whether it's learned or unlearned. Um, and it's been interesting watching those patterns uh, arising in in people and how how the different things have, have changed since last last march especially um so yeah have a have a, well i don't really know what to say i can't really say have a good day can i because it's not a very good day for most people um but if you if you're stuck for something to do and you've got a dog that pulls on the lead then come and come and join us in the challenge because the results that people are getting are, are really, really great. Um, the, even just this 30-day barking dog challenge that we've done, people have now got the skills to be able to deal with and manage, control their barking dog from preferably not barking. But if they do kick off, then they know what they have to do. Oh, okay, I was too close. Right, let's get the hell out of here and let, let's do this and let's bring them back down. And, um, and dogs are recovering a lot quicker from their barking episodes although saying that they're few and far between so a job well done i feel uh yeah so i'm gonna leave it there for today really short video um just telling you about the loose lead walking challenge that we're doing that starts thursday um and a little bit about the behavior patterns i guess on that note you could watch your own emotions a little bit more i know it sounds a little bit like out there and stuff but it does play a massive factor in um in dog ownership especially dogs can really sense and well smell uh, our emotions they can't say oh she's feeling anxious today or whatever but they can smell a change and our emotions transfer onto the dogs uh, there was a study done where dogs were presented with um, scared humans sweat samples and the 
presentation of this sweat sample actually made the dogs display signs of anxiety just from smelling that sweat sample so it's something to i'll probably go into a little bit more detail on um but it's something that we have to factor in and and, and consider so have a look at your own behavior patterns and see how you're really feeling um as you move through the week and and through the day um because they play an impact so yeah short and sweet today i'll leave it there i'll tag the group on the end so you can go and have a look at it if you fancy it you know where we'll be um and i'll speak to you tomorrow